670 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Thank you for tuning in. 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Nice looking day out there. How savvy are you when it comes to uh, marketing on the internet? It's uh, it's it's a new animal. It's not really new. I mean, a lot of us have been doing it for a long time already. Um, but a lot of us, you know, you you if you don't really know, then you th- and you listen to like your cousin Eddie. He'll tell you what to do, and maybe cousin Eddie knows what to do. I don't know. Uh, let's find out from somebody who would know. Ann Aola Ward, and I apologize, Ann, if I'm saying your name wrong, is a growth scientist, an O'Reilly author, a futurist, a contributor to Comedy Central, The Daily Dot, Forbes, Search Engine Journal, which is what a SEO is, by the way, uh, a search engine... Oh, gosh, I can't remember what the L was. Optimizer, I think. Anyway, she's got a book called The SEO Battlefield, Winning Strategies for Search Marketing Programs. And she's going to talk to us about the future of Bitcoin and blockchain, which is another word I'm not... I tried to understand what blockchain was. I don't I don't quite get it. Blockchain was the thing they were going to use to, 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 to screen out men and women who are consenting, right? Yes. Oh, we got to ask yes. about that. Cryptocurrency. Uh, Ann Ward. Good morning, Ann. I'm going to ask you to pronounce your middle name for me. Good morning, Ann. Good morning. It's uh, Ahola. Ahola. Okay. Well, thank you for being on there. Where are you right now? I'm in San Francisco, California. It's a beautiful place, isn't it? Definitely. Are definitely. You, are you sipping on tea? What do you got there? A beverage? <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously coffee because it's six thirty here. <laughs> I can be I can be honest about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being on the air with us. So, wh- what is the SEO battlefield about? It's is it about Bitcoin or about optimizing the search engine? What, is SEO right? Am I right about that? Search engine. Yes, yes, you are correct. It's search engine optimization. It is my career uh, lifelong thing that I've been doing, which is helping companies get found online. And so the book is about how a company can increase their revenue from using the search engine. So Google, you know, Yahoo, Bing. Okay. If, if I type in the radio station, it, usually we are first on there. And I don't know that that means just an accident or do we have a unique name. So what puts us at the top? And, and maybe there's not too many WOCAs. Other than for the something, there's another WLCA out there. But why do we show up at first place because I'm I'm typing it in in this neighborhood? Well, it's that's actually a great question because it can be affected by what you're logged into, where you're located, especially if you're on a mobile phone. Mobile phones are are geolocating your search to what they think is relevant wherever you are. So there are actually times when you're shopping, if you're searching for a product, you may see an ad pop up for the store that you're in if, you're, if your uh, geolocation is on. Yeah, and, and the world is changing so much. I, I get every once in a while something from Yelp telling me about a new restaurant in my neighborhood, and it's like, wow, I'm not even looking for a restaurant. They just sends it to me. It knows. It is part of targeting and being targeted online uh, because everybody's competing for attention. So that that brings me to the other part of this, the the Bitcoin part of this. We um, we've been watching with interest the Bitcoin thing. I haven't bought any myself, but we've had since the Bitcoin phenomenon, we've had at least two guests who were representing two other cryptocurrencies. And in both cases, I said to them, what can I buy with them if, if I had some? And they both gave me, both gave me the same answer. They gave me a website. And in both cases, I went to the website and there was nothing for sale. And in other words, I'm looking for something. If I, how do I get cryptocurrency? Do I spend my American money in order to get them? Is, is that kind of like a scam? Uh, No, definitely not a scam, although you want to go through an exchange that is reputable, just uh, like you would go to a reputable stockbroker. The rules are similar as they are with currency, except that you're dealing with something that is decentralized. 
so you have to be a little more careful in checking. Um, there are people who have bought houses with Bitcoin really? artwork. Yeah, um, and there's actually kind of trading cards called Crypto Kitties, which is essentially like a baseball card you would collect. Um, that's just a cat that represents Bitcoin. <laughs> a cat. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> yes. Okay, and 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 uh, the, the dollar amount becomes a little bit confusing too because if one Bitcoin is worth, what is it, sixteen thousand dollars or something? Well, it depends on if it's uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum. The different ones have different values. Okay. Well, but how do Ethereum I spend something so expensive? How do I buy a pizza? Uh, well, actually, it's funny. Pizza was the first thing that is recorded and known as a, a exchange of goods for crypto. It was actually a pizza back in 2010. To do it, you would have to find uh, you would have to find somebody who wants to wants to have you know. Oh, they want that. Wants your, yes, exactly. But um, it is possible to buy from. It. There are a number of exchanges. There's a new one. That just launched without any of the fees that actually Jay Z just invested in called Robinhood. Um, which I'm on the, the list. Yes, uh, but it's their their whole idea is that they're not cha charging for trades. So the bigger players charge thirty seven dollars per transaction or more, and so Robinhood actually is is looking to eliminate those fees to get more people uh, using crypto. Um, it's, it's, so is the book about this SEO, the SEO battlefield, or is it only partially about this? Uh, my book is actually not about crypto at all, but oh, okay. in dealing with, in dealing with, um, helping companies make money, it, you know, I, I lost quite a bit of money in the financial crisis. And so I've been following it for a long time. So since the bank systems collapsed in 2008, I've had an eye on it, and in just recent months, I've really started to focus on it. Bought my first, uh, I bought a crock pot with it on Overstock.com with crypto in 2014, and so that's when it really became real for me. Oh wow! And I've I've been tracking it ever since, and it's just something I'm very excited about because what it can do for people, especially people in countries with hyperinflation or in countries where people don't trust their governments or maybe they're in a disputed region it's you know gives people a sense of freedom so in a way that i've never seen online in, 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 a, in a marketing thing i'm wondering and i haven't heard of anybody doing this but uh, and i'll tell you where the idea comes from it's not original the idea comes from back when i was a kid the s and h green stamps as a bonus for shopping at somebody's store okay so do you remember them by by, by the chance because that was a form of currency, too. Or was that before your time? I can't say I know of that now. <laughs> okay. Well, in a nutshell, what it was is you went to the grocery store, you got $100 worth of groceries, and you got a, a bunch of stamps, and you put them in a book. And after you saved up enough stamps, you could go buy anything, a bicycle, a tent, anything. It was cool. cool. And so I'm wondering if businesses will start to offer... Bitcoin as a bonus, like you know, come shop at our store, and uh, you'll earn you know a, I don't know, a, a tiny bit of a Bitcoin, whatever that would be, one kitty cat, whatever that thing is, you'll you'll earn one kitty cat. <laughs> crypto kitty, crypto kitty, yeah. crypto kitty. I mean, <laughs> is anybody doing that as a bonus, like as an incentive to buy at their store? Not that I know of, but there are companies uh, like Polaroid has decided that they're moving to the blockchain and other things. There are companies that are dipping their toe, but nobody has got it. The, the interaction between the two financial systems isn't exactly seamless, which is why you have a lot of diehard people with a lot of skeptics, because it hasn't really gotten very easy for the average person to interact with crypto. So your frustration is not something that's I haven't heard before. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's for everybody. There's a usability issue that needs to be solved, and I'm one of those people working on that. So, can the country of Greece pull themselves out of their financial crisis by moving over to this? Um, I don't know that it would get them out of the crisis, but it would add a level of transparency to what's happening there that I think people would appreciate. And so, what people don't realize is that you know, Bitcoin operates off of what is known as the blockchain and the blockchain is a continuing a continuous growing list of records it's like a public ledger and so it can actually be used to trace transactions and uh, enable contracts and things and so I think it'd be really, really exciting to, it would be really exciting to see 
government start using it so there would be another level of transparency see, the, the 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 word blockchain came to our attention after the me too movement news started and and it was being used in in, the, in this news piece i don't know if you heard this where um, i guess a man and a woman who are trying to decide whether to have sex or not will sign a blockchain thing or whatever uh, and agree so that so that nobody gets in trouble after the fact usually it's the guy that gets in trouble by the way so <laughs> right i mean have you heard of this where consent is is being agreed to by a blockchain i've heard that concept put out there not for that specific not for sex but but you could technically use it for that you could use it for any kind of a transaction that needs to have a time stamp or needs to be recorded or are there two parties that need to ensure that the other one is going through with the deal really so we could so we could use a blockchain for example uh you know we do small little contract work a lot i mean we could use a blockchain instead of a paper contract Correct. You could use what is called a smart contract, which is one of the most huh. common uses of blockchain. Is that is is that explained in your book? No, it's not. It will be in the next one. Though. You need a new book. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yes. Well, a lot of people don't have this information that I do from being immersed in this world for so long, and it's yeah. really. I think I need to write about it so that people can understand the power of it. Uh, absolutely. Not only is it um, not only is it confusing, but even the words sound like foreign words. Uh, it's it's all new to many of us, and and I think you you got you have a ripe market right now for that book. But so does the SEO battlefield. A lot of people don't know how to get their names up on uh, the Google thing, the search engine thing. That is correct. A lot of companies struggle with it as well, and it's in some industries can mean the difference between success and failure, how they appear versus how their competitors appear. And so it's, it's very, it's very important to a business to be able to do SEO well, or they're going to have to pay to be, to be in the top of search. Do you still write for Comedy Central? Occasionally, yes. Mostly do social media. <laughs> can I give Can I give you an idea to pitch to them? You can have it. You can make money with it. I had an idea this morning. Please, there was please a, do. Th there was a story about the Vatican is going to hire more exorcists because there are half a million possessed people in Italy every yeah. year. Okay. And I thought, wouldn't it be funny if one goofy guy, like 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 the what we what we call the misfit the misfit exorcist, like like Will Ferrell, like with the cowbell. Like he thinks cowbell will help get a demon out of a person? I just think that would be funny. She's not laughing. Well, right. that would be funny. <laughs> She's not laughing at all. We'll write well. I just want to be funny. If, if, it took me a second. It, it took me a second. Be, okay, if I went over to Italy right now and I said to the Vatican, I heard about this job opening. I'd like to do it. You know, what? what is your experience? Well, I, I, if I ring a cowbell, I know that it gets rid of the demons. <laughs> because it always does at the clubs I play in. So <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, now, maybe there's no idea there. I don't know. Uh, all right, so the book, I, I have covered the book on the podcast. I found it on Amazon. Um, it's called The SEO Battlefield, Winning Strategies for Search Marketing Programs. The uh, other thing I have for you, Anne, is what, what's a good website to go to? AnnaHoleAward.com is my personal site, and that'll direct you to my writing about Bitcoin or about SEO and marketing. Come back with the next book, okay? And 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 hopefully we'll hear from you really soon. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anne. All right, we are up against the break. Let's take that break. We'll be right back. This is The Source, WOCA Ocala. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Is that couch cushion sinking lower every time you sit in it? Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has... 